Hey everybody, it's Charles Brandon from BoxingFitnessFactory.com. Today we're going to talk about, uh, we'll touch on a few topics from a wide variety. Uh, first thing I want to talk about is uh, body punching, and not body punching the benefits in a traditional way, but the better, just a hidden benefit is when you punch in the body, boom, you know, you rip over here, you're shooting different shots, you're moving your head, there's head movement, you're changing your level. I see a lot of guys that are just, you know, they're just, they, all they do is punch to the head, so what's going to happen? Their head's going to relatively stay at the same height, the same level. So if you're fighting a guy, this, his head is going to be, you know exactly about what level it's going to be. It makes it that much easier. As opposed to, you know, I throw a cross to the body, I'll come back up here, I'm looking up top, I'm changing my angles, you know, different spots. And, all, and my head's moving all because of body punching. So obviously there's other benefits that have been well uh, documented and well talked about with body punching. But if I... You know, boom, just changing my level, coming back up top, ripping back down. You, your head is moving by default, and, that, and, it, and it just creates better offense, better defense, and everything else. Uh, next thing I want to talk about is if you get hit with a double jab, that means you're just not moving your head off, off the plane. The jab is coming straight, typically, straight ahead. If you get hit with one, the first thing you should do as soon as you get hit with a jab is slide your head off, okay? Slide your head off that, that particular... Um, uh, straight line, okay? You want to get your head off the line. So if I get hit with a jab, first thing I'm going to do is slide, slide my head off that plane. So just keep that in mind. If you, if you are a person that can't pick up the jab or getting hit with multiple jabs, it's due to head movement or, or, or not bringing your hands up and staying on that same plane. Uh, next thing I want to talk to you about, and I've touched on this before, is your rear hand. Always be aware of where your rear hand is. Take something away. Either take away the, the jab in your, in your stance, or take away the hook. Have your hand either on this side of the cheekbone or this side of the cheekbone. People just have their hands floating and they're not giving it a purpose and they're doing their self disservice. Take something away so mentally you can, you can be ready to, to flip over one side or you can be ready to flip over to another side. What do you got to do? Boxing is already hard enough as it is so don't make it that much harder where, you, where you're not even helping your own self. You, you won't own worse enemy. Uh, last thing I want to talk about is a relaxation, um, you know, when you guys are away from your opponent and you, you understand you're out of range, I advise you to put your hands down for a second, just relax, take a breath, and then gear back up to, to get back into action. Um, it, it, it's hard to stay constantly tense in any little break of the arms. I mean, especially if you're fighting for a long time or, or it's, a, it's an intense fight. Any little break helps and any little advantage uh, that you can get helps. So, the problem with boxing is that it gives you the test and then it gives you the lesson afterwards, much like life. So yeah, a lot of it is just experience. But I would advise you, cool, if you're out of range, take that little half second, that second, to just breathe, boom, and then get back to ready to get back to fight. Um, so the key is use body punching to change your punch level. Um, uh, give your rear hand a purpose. Um, if, you, if you get hit with more than one jab, you need to slide your head off, off, off that track and try to relax in there. When you know your, your opponent is out of range, out of distance, take that second, half second, take the breath, let your arms loose, and then get ready to fight again. Subscribe to me at Boxing Fit Factory on YouTube. The website is boxingfitnessfactory.com.